Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Jeff. I'm a former fighting game competitor turned commentator. Now here I am as the community manager at Modus Games, here to show off some lightning fast basic strats for override Mech City Brawl. We're gonna get into some basic maneuverability, some offense options, some defense options as well to give you the best chance of scrapping your opponents. For those uninitiated, Override is a 4 player mech brawler that's all about spacing, meter management, risk and reward, knowing matchups, and a bunch of essentials for fighting games. We'll get into all those later, but for now, let's talk about the basics. Override is a 3D arena brawler, which means you have full movement and access across the entire domain. To help with combat, the lock on button controls movement relative to where your opponent is at. Let's get into basic combat. You're a big mech, and you can flail your limbs around using the corresponding kick or punch button. You can hold said buttons for a moment, so you can get a charge attack which does significantly more damage and causes a knockdown. Note that being hit while charging an attack will cause significant knockback. Also, charging a kick prevents you from moving, while overcharging a punch causes your mech to lose its charge. All mechs have a variety of basic moves as well, such as dash kicks performed by dashing forward and tapping kick, and dive kicks performed by jumping in the air and letting go of a charge kick. If you have at least one bar of blue special meter, you'll have access to one of four special moves. You can perform these by holding the special button while pressing one of the attack buttons. Remember that all mechs have different specials, basic attacks, and movement options. We'll have more information in future tutorials about how these differ mech to mech. If you're on the defense, you'll have a number of options. You'll be able to block by holding the block button. This will stop most quick basic attacks, giving you time to unblock and counterattack. While shielding is effective, you can't block behind you. You can't block charge attacks, and you can't block certain special attacks. Attempting to do so will result in a lot of pain. You can also use your boosters to evade opponents by holding a direction and pressing the dodge button. You want to do this to create distance. If you're about to get knocked down, right before your mech hits the ground, you can tap the jump button while holding the stick in any direction to tech roll. You can also take a risky catch counter action by holding shield and pressing either punch or kick. If you catch the right type of move during this red shield window, you absorb the hit and immediately retaliate with a huge counter attack. However, if you absorb the wrong move or your catch counter whiffs, you're left open for a huge punish. Notice that most of these options cause your heat meter to fill up. If you use moves that build heat, your meter starts filling. If you continue to use these moves without giving enough time for it to reduce, you're overheated, which means you're completely helpless until your meter resets to zero. You won't be able to use basic attacks, dodging, or your shield while you're overheated. Generally speaking, if you're already getting hit, you want to be on the defense until you can reset the situation to neutral. If you're on the offense, you'll want to keep attacking. Putting all these ideas together creates a crazy rock, paper, scissors type game. Blocking beats quick attacks, charge attacks beat blocking, and quick attacks beat charge attacks. Since you can use multiple limbs at once, you'll have access to holding a charge attack while keeping a limb free for a quick attack. But what if you're the one getting scrapped? Each mech has a built-in desperation move called an ultimate attack that they can do once per match. When a mech is low on health and also has at least one bar of blue special meter, they'll be able to unleash their unique ultimate. Once you're sure you're good to go, pressing both the left and right kicks at the same time will trigger the ultimate attack. The best override pilots are going to be the ones who can keep their opponents guessing by constantly mixing up offense and defense tactics. If your opponent can't guess your next move, you're going to be able to control the match by forcing them into bad situations until you beat them down. Alright guys, that's it for now, but if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on our Discord server or our Twitter at Modus Games. So have fun thrashing opponents and be sure to hit the subscribe button for more override goodness, like advanced tips and character specific guides. Until next time, I love you.